Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb with News and Nutrition talking about DSIP peptide. DSIP stands for Deep Sleep Inducing Peptide. What's sleep? First of all, it's most important to understand how sleep changes as we age. As we get older, we spend less and less time in deep restorative sleep. Our REM cycles get shallower, so we don't get into that deep sleep. Now, deep sleep is important for a couple things. One is that deep sleep, the first deep sleep is when you put out growth hormone. But probably the more important reason is deep sleep is also when your glymphatic system in your brain opens up and you flush all the accumulated gunk from thinking all day long. In fact, flushing out your brain is so important that every brain on this planet and every creature requires a sleep cycle so that you can restore your brain by flushing it out. It actually shrinks 15%. You can record the flow increasing in your glymphatic system in your brain as increasing up to three and four fold when you're sleeping. So sleep is your brain on flush. That's what it does. And if you don't get a good night's sleep, it's very characteristic of Alzheimer's disease, for example, to have all sorts of disrupted sleep. And sure enough, uh, that you don't get rid of the gunk, and the gunk accumulates, and we call that beta amyloid. It might be that they didn't get a good night's sleep. Okay, off that topic and back to DSIP. What does DSIP do? It actually doesn't put you to sleep. And many people say they don't have trouble getting to sleep. It induces a longer phase in stage four sleep. It increases the wash cycle, if you may make an analogy, like your brain was a washing machine and you increase the length on the rinse or wash cycle. That's effectively what it's doing. And you wake up feeling more refreshed. The problem it doesn't seem to work on everybody and it doesn't work at the same time of day. So what you probably should do is, if you're going to try it and play with it, is you need to try it. It needs to be something you might take before bedtime, and if that doesn't work, you take it at supper time. If that doesn't work, you take it at lunchtime. And there's even word that there are some people who take it first thing in the morning, and then they get a good night's sleep. Odd. Now, it has many, many other protective functions. We haven't found the gene yet, but we found it in everything from breast milk to all over the place. Uh, and it's only a nine amino acid peptide. It's a tiny little peptide, relatively easy to manufacture. But it's also got involvement in wound healing and weight loss. It might be doing a lot of other things, but it's best known right now for deep sleep inducing. I'm hoping it gets a little better because 50% might not be as good as we'd like it to be, but there it is. Uh, it may be worth an experiment if you're interested in trying. I've tried it on a few people. I've got some at home. I'm going to give it a shot myself. What will work for me? Well, I just ordered some, so call me up and ask me personally later. Uh, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking on news and nutrition on DSIP, Deep Sleep Inducing 